Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds the diameter of a binary tree. First, let us understand what exactly diameter of a binary tree means. The diameter of a tree is the number of nodes on the longest path between two leaves in the tree. Let us see an example. The diagram shows two trees, each with diameter 9. The leaves that form the end of a longest path are shaded. Now, let us see the algorithm which will assist us in finding the diameter of a binary tree. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. We pass the root node which is 1 into function diameter. We have tree variable to store this. So tree will point to 1. Since tree is not null, we omit the if statement. Now we get the height of the left and the right subtrees. We assume that height function is already created and returns left height to variable l height and right height to variable r height. As you can see, the left height of node 1 is 2. So, l height will be equal to 2. Now, r height will be equal to 1 as right height of node 1 is 1. Now, we recursively call the diameter function and get the diameter of left and right subtrees. First, we pass the left child of 1 which is 2. The left and right height of 2 is 1 as there is only one element in both the left and right subtree of node 2. Now, we get the diameter of left and right subtree of node 2. First, the left child of 2, which is 4, is passed. Tree will now point to 4. Now, we get the height of the left and right subtree of 4. Since 4 is a leaf node, both the left and the right subtree's height will be equal to 0. Now, we get the diameter of left and right subtree of node 4. Since the left child of 4 is null, null is passed. Since tree is pointing to null, we return 0. We continue for the right subtree of node 4. Since that is also 0, we pass null. Since tree is null, we return 0. So, our diameter will be equal to 0. Now we return the max of L diameter, R diameter and L height plus R height plus 1. Since all are 0 for node 4, we return L height plus R height plus 1 which is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 1. So, L diameter for 2 will be 1. We continue execution for node 2. Now we will find the right diameter of node 2. So we pass 5 to function diameter. Again, since 5 is not null, we get the L height and R height for node 5. As you can see, 5 is a leaf node, so L height and R height will for node 5 will be equal to 0. Now we get the diameter of left and right subtree of node 5. Since left child is null, we pass null. Now tree will point to null. Since tree is null, we return 0. So, L diameter for node 5 is 0. We continue for node 5. Now, we find the right diameter of node 5. Since 5's right child is null, 
we pass null. Again, since tree is null, we return 0 to the call stack. So, our diameter for node 5 will be equal to 0. Now, we return the max of L diameter, R diameter and L height plus R height plus 1. Since all are 0, we return 0 plus 0 plus 1. So, R diameter of 2 will be equal to 1. Now, we return the max of L height plus R height plus 1 and L diameter, R diameter. Since all are 1, we return 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So, L diameter for node 1 is 3. We continue execution for node 1. Now, we pass the right child of node 1 which is 3. Since 3 is not null, we get the height of left and right subtree of 3. As you can see, 3 is a leaf node. So, both the heights will be equal to 0. Now, we get the diameter of left and right subtree of node 3. Since 3's left child is null, null is passed. Since 3 is pointing to null, we return 0. So, L diameter for node 3 will be equal to 0. Now, we find the R diameter for node 3. Since right child of 3 is also null, we pass null. As 3 is pointing to null, we return 0. So, R diameter will also be equal to 0. Again, we return the max of R diameter, L diameter and L height plus R height plus 1. Since all are 0, we return 0 plus 0 plus 1. So, R diameter for node 1 will be equal to 1. Now, First, we find the max of L diameter and R diameter. Since 3 is greater than 1, L diameter is the greater of the two. Now, we compare L diameter with L height plus R height plus 1, which is equal to 4. We will return max of L diameter and 4. As 4 is greater than 3, we return 4 which is the diameter of this binary tree. Now, let us have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of n square complexity. Here, n are the number of nodes in our tree. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, Please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.